Hey, I'm Damien Holbrook from TV Guide Magazine, and I am talking with Robbie Amell and Andy Allo from Upload. Welcome to Upload, your digital afterlife. Uploads live a life of luxury, pleasure, but they lack something that makes death worth living. <gasps> Prototypes! Congrats, Mommy. Andy, let's first talk about Nora getting herself involved in a group of people that I would not expect her to be hanging with. Right. Yeah, There, there's definitely a, a journey of her gaining a different perspective. And, and you know, it adds a, a bit of, you know, she always gets to see the best in people. Mm. And perhaps maybe initially she judges them, but then she gets to see, gets to know them. And she did that in season one, you know, with Nathan of kind of judging him initially, initially and then seeing him in, in all his, you know, beauty um and and so i think this happens again in season two but now with the luds and there's so much for her to learn and 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 she's someone who has such a big heart so i think uh we get to see how that shapes her and how she approaches you know the mystery of solving uh, nathan's death and you know whether she solves it or not you know but it's like okay she comes in it with a fresh perspective I feel like she might be a little in over her head with what they have in store for the Absolutely. Lego movie. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and, and meanwhile, so while she's doing all this, Nathan is reunited with Ingrid. Um, and because he is, he has grown into, he's a good guy. He's trying to do right. This is a woman who's like sacrificed, as we think, uh, for him. And now they've, they're trying to start a new afterlife together. Robbie, how was that knowing, you know, what is going on? I mean, selfishly, it's really the comedic side of things with Allegra is really fun because she's the last person that he wants to be stuck with in 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 Lakeview. Um, and also just from like a, a relationship standpoint, you know, uh, Nathan and Nora spend the whole first season kind of coming together and learning about each other and falling in love. And then everything that can go wrong goes wrong uh, at the end of season one. And I think it's nice that season two is a direct pickup from there because we kind of owe it to the audience with that cliffhanger. Um, but it's, it's, you know, as a fan of the show, it was fun to get to see, you know, Nora kind of figuring out things in the, in the Lud camp, but still rooting. I'm rooting for her to go back to Nathan selfishly. And I'm rooting for Nathan to find her because, you know, he obviously wanted to say, I love you too, but he was frozen and, and, and he couldn't do that. So I think it's nice to see these two characters kind of figuring out who they are on their own, but also still not losing that thing between them and, 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 and trying to find each other again. So uh, I'm rooting for them. Uh, I hope they make it. Allegra, you get so much more to do this season. I know, and it is the best. I love it. I love everything that I got to do. Ingrid is getting away with a lot. Yeah, she sure is. Is it love? Like, does she love Nathan? Or is it more of a, this is supposed to be what it's supposed to be kind of thing? I think, I think it's both. I think she does, but she, she loves him in the way that she knows how to love, mm -hmm. uh, which as we've seen with her family is um, limited. <laughs> So, Owen, talk to me because you also get to get a ton more to do this year. I mean, the fact that just that you play almost all of the employees at Lakeview, but also there's a whole other realm of what you get to do this season. Yes. Um, shit gets cray cray. Um, uh, uh, yes, it gets it gets nutty. Um, I get I, I play a baby. Yeah, um, which, so which was very strange experience. Uh, you know, I was, I, they wanted to record my baby voice, uh, and sound so they put me in a booth and then they were like, just be a baby. So for like 20 minutes, I was going and going like in a booth. <laughs> I, I had never felt more creepy and uncomfortable in my entire life, but it was, uh, but it was, it's really funny. <laughs> it, it comes out really well. First of all, Alicia's a boss now. <laughs> I mean, she was always a boss, but now she's a boss. I was about to say. <laughs> Alicia boss. is definitely a boss in her own mind. But yes, th in, in this season, Alicia gets to like level up. And, it, and it's interesting to see what that means and how that uh, changes some of her relationships. Mm -hmm. And Kevin, I feel like 
Luke is missing her. Yeah, yeah, we've kind of talked about that as much as well between the two of us. That it's it's very much a different energy from Luke with with somewhat of the same result of like an annoyance from her part, right? And like this this battle back and forth, but also uh, the first scene of the of the season for me is calling her to me to like help with something, but really it's like, did I just kind of invent that? Like she's so busy that uh, it's like now Luke very much wants her attention. You know, um, we kind of get the idea, I think, especially specifically with his relationship with Nathan, Luke doesn't have a whole lot of friends. So Andrea, first let's talk about Lucy because she's uh, she's got some things going on that, that maybe uh, a boss shouldn't be doing. <laughs> She definitely has many things going on that a boss shouldn't be doing. Um, she's lecherous and um, she's not very good at hiding it either. No. She, <laughs> she thinks she is, but she's actually not. Um, so yeah, she's, um, she's very horny for her clients. And Josh, uh, you, you're carrying a couple characters it feels like this season <laughs> without spoiling anything. Um, Talk to me about what we're going to get to find out. I think uh, with Ivan, there's a couple of things. I think you're going to find out uh, where this person lies in between the themes of technology and, uh, and kind of attachment to nature. Mm -hmm. I think he's the character that lies in the in-between who's just kind of doing exactly what he wants as long as he gets to eat ramen. You know, like whatever that takes. Um, and then, and then also, uh, you know, I was talking with one of the directors that there's this great love story that's happening between, uh, you know, Nora and Nathan. Hmm. And uh, what I wanted to create with Ivan this season was a a love story of his own, hmm. uh, in a way. And so um, the feelings that he has towards his love interest in this, I wanted to kind of make parody of it. But, you know, also say like, you know, the conversation would be like, you know, Nora, we're the same. Like you're in love with someone, I'm in love with someone or something. <laughs> you know, no big deal. Yeah. Right. So thank you guys both. You don't forget, uh, upload back on Prime Video starting March 11th. <laughs>